Hi everyone, welcome back to Inside Infection Control, our video blog here at CDC's Project First Line. I'm Abby Carlson, it's wonderful to have you back with us. Today we are going to talk about multi-dose vials. Before we get started, I want to note that CDC's one and only injection safety campaign has a lot of great resources on this issue. We're going to put a link to that in the comments, so I suggest that you check all of that out. They have a lot of wonderful guidance. Um, and and um, we are going to today dig into that guidance a little bit and talk about why multidose vials are important. So many vaccines, including the current COVID-19 vaccines, come in small bottles that contain more than one dose of vaccine. We call these multiple dose or multi-dose vials. And those vials can be used to vaccinate more than one person. So the question is, why is this any different than say a single dose vial? Well, multi-dose vials need to be used with extra care because if anything gets inside that vial, it will get into all the doses of vaccine that are inside the vial. We call this contamination. Basically, it means that the vaccine has gotten dirty or spoiled and we can't use it anymore. And of course, we don't want to accidentally give dirty vaccine to patients and make them sick. This is actually a real problem. It happens every year in the United States and it can be avoided with good practices. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. If you think about it, we're pro providing vaccine to people to protect them from COVID-19. So of course we don't wanna make them sick with something else because we've gotten the vaccine dirty. And that means we need to practice the best safety of, for the vaccine that we can. Not only that, but if vaccine gets dirty or spoiled, it has to be thrown away. And we lose doses that could have gone to patients. So we want to avoid that too. So how are multi-dose vials different from single dose vials? Well, the biggest thing is that they're more likely to get dirty than single dose vials because you're usually putting a needle into that bottle many times to pull out each dose for each separate vaccine that you're gonna give to each patient. Each time that needle goes in, it's a risk. There are things that might be on the needle if the needle is dirty, if the top is dirty, the needle might pick them up as it goes through the top. If the syringe is dirty, it could come through the needle and contaminate the vaccine. All of those things mean that vaccine can get dirty from that process. And, um, and then that dirty vaccine is no longer usable. This is different from things a little bit like um, insulin vials, which are multiple dose vials but are vials that we use on one patient and one patient only. They have different risks and the risks are a little more limited because we're not talking about injecting people from one vial, multiple people from one vial. We're talking about injecting one person from one vial multiple times. Slightly different, but this is one thing you might've seen in healthcare and might wonder, well, why, is, why are we doing it for one thing and not the other? Um, those vials are slightly different than a vaccine vial that's gonna be used on multiple people. Okay, if a needle gets dirty in any way and goes into the vial, it ends up making the rest of the contents in the vial dirty. And when that happens, the vaccine in the vial can't be used. All the vaccine in the vial has to be thrown away. Well, what happens if the vaccine's used anyway? After it's gotten dirty, what if it gets injected into a patient? Patients can get sick, and they have. They've even died from this. Diseases like hepatitis and HIV can spread this way. And it's not just a problem that's about COVID-19. Every year in the US, patients get contaminated medication or contaminated vaccines from multi-dose vials, and they get sick, and they can die. And it doesn't have to happen. That's why these steps are so important. What happens if a patient gets contaminated vaccine? Well, then everyone who got a dose from that vial has to be tracked down so that we can monitor them and make sure they do okay. We have to test them to make sure they aren't infected and we have to follow them over time. We do this for patients because we wanna make sure they're as safe as they can be after something like this has happened. 
but it's a big deal. It's a big deal for the patients, obviously, but also for your facility, for the health department, and for the healthcare workers. So don't underestimate how big of a problem this can be and how much we need to avoid it. All right, to sum it up, we've covered multiple points about multi-dose vials and why infection control is so important for them. If you come back for part two, um, we're gonna show you the simple basic steps that you can take to make sure that you give this vaccine from multi-dose vials safely. In the meantime, don't hesitate to check us out online, cdc.gov slash Project First Line, or follow us up on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you for part two.